had the pleasure of being at the ESPYs, and he is a funny guy to have host. And then you see the best in the world by Devers. She has been far and away the class of the field in women's hurdling in the world this year. This happened just a few days ago in Lausanne, Switzerland, and it was Devers in the center of the track who just kept pulling away from the competitors. And it was Devers all the way running one of the fastest times in the last 10 years. We asked her how she's focusing on this race. All the other girls have been running very well thus far, getting personal best or right at their personal best. So, you know, I expect tonight's competition just to be just that straight competition and you have to be you know totally focused on what you have to do i'm focusing on my lane and my lane only she's learned to be that disciplined dwight over the years now 35 years of age amazing how well she's doing and then you see the list of competitors and of course gail devers in lane five had the golden bib on she did win last week in oslo has one of those races under her belt trying to win seven in a row to get a share of the golden league jackpot jenny adams on the far right hand corner is in lane one from Houston, Texas. Anjanette Kirkland in three, world indoor and outdoor champion last year. Devers will be in five. And they're away well. Devers with her great explosive speed usually has the lead, she does now. Two lanes to her inside is Kirkland. It is Devers, Kirkland for second. Kirkland trying to get up, Devers has the lead and she gets the victory. 12 and 57 one hundredths of a second. The wind has not been a factor in any sprints tonight at all. But again, it's Gail Devers focusing her explosive Olympic 100-meter championship speed, gets her out to that first hurdle, and she starts putting pressure, I think, Dwight on all the other competitors. And Larry, it's so hard to imagine with Gail Devers, the way she's running this year, injury-free, only one race that she's run all year, slower than 1270, saying that she might just wake up tomorrow morning and decide that it's completely over. This is a woman who is, seems to be at the top of her game. And look at the relaxation. She has the great speed in between the hurdles, a little, a little mistake there. But Devers just so strong, she's blowing all the competition away this year. Gail Devers, we caught up with her trackside with Lewis Johnson. Well, it was close, but Gail Devers is still in the money. You've won, you're two for two now, but I'm curious about the conditions. Is it more dangerous to hurdle when the track is as wet as it was tonight? Um, it is because, you know, you could slip. I mean, with it being a very techno technical event, you just really have to be cautious. So uh, I'm happy with the win. Now, after all these years, I'm watching you take the victory lap, and you're hugging people, and you're taking hands. Or, you're still into this, aren't you? I am. I mean, the fans are what makes you. I mean, and, and that's what makes it exciting for me is the fans get excited. They want to see a good performance, and you can't go around and shake everyone's hand, but you don't know what that means to them to give them a touch or a kiss or a hug or an autograph, so I love to do it. All right, we'll see you in Rome. Thanks, Gail. Thank you. Thank you. Devers just toasts the rest of the field and now has just the five of the seven fastest times run this year already.